Let's talk a little about some workaround with tricks that people, including myself, often have to use in order to overcome existing limitations in Open Cascade library. One feature of Open Cascade that is particularly useful is phase maximization. Historically, it was a part of a Boolean operation engine, so that if you run Boolean operation, you might get split phases. For example, here in this case, we have seven phases in the part, and you see those edges rendered in the yellow color that are sort of artificial, because all those phases lie on the same plane, and they effectively can be just uh, unified or merged into one phase. For that, in Open Cascade, there is a function called uh, unify same domain. You're supposed to pass the result name and also the shape that you want to unify, that you want to simplify effectively. So if I call it like that, then I would basically expect that in my R variable I'll have the maximized phase. And that apparently does not happen. No matter why, but basically it might not have happened uh, simply because in Open Cascade there is some bug or limitation, let's say so. To prove that this phase maximization operation actually works, let me try another part. Here in this part there is a little region that might benefit from phase maximization. Let me zoom in a little. Like here, there is one planar phase and then split edge and then another planar phase. So I can go ahead and use this unify same domain R and then SH. Let's call it like this and just pay attention to what will happen here along this edge. You see that something clearly happened, but I still have a SH visualized, so let me go ahead and erase SH from the screen. You see that now this artificial edge has been eliminated. Here is an example of a part that cannot be maximized. It's a flat, flat pattern of the sheet metal part. Once it is unfolded, we get this sort of thing. So we have uh, planar flanges unfolded, and also we have those images. Also planes for unrolled bands. Uh, the thing is that normally when you generate a DXF drawing or just a you know, PDF uh, drawing, you normally want to unify all those faces to merge them all into one face. And for that, uh, in analysis situs, basically in open cascade, there is a function that is called unify same domain. Here this function is available uh, with the button maximize faces and edges. But as you can see from this example, nothing happens if I click this button. It might be that some tolerances are not okay and uh, that's why it might also might also be a good idea to try this maximize faces function with some uh, non-default parameters like linear tolerance and angular tolerance. But whichever values I pass here, it doesn't seem to work. I can pass here whichever numbers and nothing changes in the result. So I would expect that potentially this problem is related to how uh, those bands are parameterized. Uh, if you look at the host surfaces for each band, you'll see that uh, the planes are sort of rotated with respect to each other. And this plane here is not equal to this plane here. Basically, it should not be a problem, but it seems like here we are facing some issue in Open Cascade. That's sort of a blocking issue, because once you've got into this situation, you do not really know how to escape and how to work it around. So here in this video, I'm going to show a little workaround, what we can still do. For that, instead of trying to maximize faces together, I'm going to construct a new face out of those contours. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all those edges one after another and uh, this way to compose a loop that I will use later on to create a contour and this contour I'll use to create a face. So this is a little laborious process to select all those edges here but basically it's probably not that bad given that you do not have any other uh, options to heal the model. And also, in the future releases of analysis cities, we are going to add some intelligent way to propagate selection from one free edge to another. So once we have all those edges selected, we go to the context menu and set all these uh, selected edges as a variable. 
And here in the geometric set, uh, we have this variable one. If I look at it, you see that basically it's my contour. I can change its name, I can change its color if I want. And I can also see from here that there are these two dots. Meaning that there is a gap here and also a gap here. So this contour doesn't seem to be closed. That is why I should go and reselect those edges here. Because there seem to be a little trouble. And by the way, you see that there is some tiny circle which is completely crazy. But it's probably why those faces could not be maximized together. Let's not try to heal the model, but instead try to uh, construct a new face. Now I have my control selected again, and I again save it as a variable. This variable I probably go and just remove. And now you see that there are no dots. So this essentially means that the contour is closed. If I come back to my part, I can also create another contour from this hole here, which is just a circle. Set as variable and also set as variable here. Now I have this little sketch that I can use to construct a new face. And if I want, I can also go and export those little contours to BRAP format so that I would not lose them if something goes wrong. Now I can probably try to use this make face function. Here I'm supposed to specify the face name and also this function accepts set of wire names. So I pass here the key dash w and outer wire. If I try to construct a face out of this outer wire, you see that uh, the software complains that the outer wire is not a wire and we can go to the explore menu here and see, okay, this is basically a compound. So yes, uh, basically it, it is not a wire. But what I can do is I can connect edges to wires. If I set this outer wire as an active part, I can call this function connect edges to wires now. And this way I obtain the wire, which is just a perfect wire. Now I can try to construct a face out of this wire. And here is my face. Now let's add those two contours. So basically first I have to do the same trick. Because if I explore those, uh, those shapes, I see, okay, this is just a standalone edge. And this is also just one little edge. So let me set this edge as an active part. Then I connect edges to wires. I obtain another wire. If I explore it, it's a wire of one edge. And the same thing I do for the, uh, for the, for the second hole. Set as part. Connect edges to wires. Now I have these three wires. And the good thing about them is that they are all of proper type. And now I can use them to construct a face. I'll use the same command. So let me just pass here all my wires. Like this. And you see, okay, something went wrong. If I construct a face like this, I can set as an active part. And if I now select this face, then basically... What, what is wrong about this face is that it's not properly oriented because if you look at this hole in the direction of this arrow, if you traverse this hole, then the material uh, remains on the left. But since this hole is reversed, you should mentally reverse the direction of this traversal and basically the material will be inside the hole. And the same applies here. Here, if you follow this arrow here, then the material will reside in, inside the hole. And since this wire is forward, and you can see that from the color of this wire, then you do not change mentally the orientation of traversal, and this is just, just wrong. But we can easily fix it if you just go and run this little repair function. You see that open cascade will take care of this orientations, it will basically just change the orientation of contours uh, without reparameterizing them, so the directions of the underlying curves will remain the same. But the thing now is that you see that I have one perfect 
plane, and this plane, by the way, was not taken from any of the original faces, it was constructed by Open Cascade using this contour. And Open Cascade just guessed what would be the correct plane uh, using the information about vertices and basically just built uh, this average plane uh, to support our face. What I clearly forgot to mention in the video is that this face maximization operator is applicable not only for uh, planar surfaces, but it can also work for cylinders and uh, conical surfaces and other types of canonical geometry. That is basically why this uh, workaround, this interactive trick that I proposed in the video would not work in a general case. And it can only be helpful if what you are doing is pretty simplistic modification of a shell. So if you have a planar set of faces that you want to join together and for some reason this does not work. In the future series I hope you will come to the point where we can debug a little this Unify same domain operator and probably even propose some patches to it. See you in the next episodes.